now we can get that conversation going with the Apollo Hospitals. It's the best performing stock on the Nifty right now with a pop up of around 6% because the performance make that 7% right now because the numbers have been so strong for the quarter gone by. We uh, do have, I think, uh, Miss Reddy with us. Yes, uh, ma'am, great to have you on. I think the color of your attire is matching the sentiment around the stock today as well. It's a deep shade of green because you've had a phenomenal quarter. Uh, so yeah. let's start there. You, let's start there. I mean, was there something exceptional? Because occupancies went up so much, uh, there was margin improvement, 200 basis points margin improvement as well. So is, yeah. is this an exceptional pop? Or are you expecting the second half to be as strong? So I think this was, uh, this is our second quarter, uh, usually very, very good. And uh, occupancy is high, it's at 74%. This is a combination of uh, both medical discharges and surgical work. So, you know, we think that this is sustainable. On the whole, revenues grew by 15% on a consolidated basis. And uh, in the healthcare space, 14%. In our hospitals, 14% growth in revenue, 14% growth in EBITDA, and 16% improvement in impact for healthcare services, and 63% uh, improvement in impact on a consolidated basis. All right. Uh, good morning, Miss Reddy, and congratulations on a solid showing in the past quarter. I wanted to ask you, you a little bit about Apollo 24 by 7. You know, in the past yes. year, I think FI24, you did roughly around 2,700 crores or thereabouts. And for this year, the suite was working with a number closer to around 4,000 crores. Do you think that's still on the cards? Because in the first half of the year, you've done a number in the vicinity yes. of around 1,500 crores. Yes, so, uh, you know, to 24 by 7 Apollo Health Co. Top 2,800, uh, 2,282 crores of turnover. So we are quite confident that uh, they will definitely close the year with 4,000 crores. But more importantly, if you look at the pack, the first time they delivered a positive pack of 19 crores. So it's in terms of uh, volume of sales, in terms of profitability, it is done very well. Mm. Right. Uh, <clears throat> we'll, we'll just, uh, ma'am, uh, good morning, Prashanti. Thanks very much. Uh, the hospital uh, that you are going to be building and operating here in Burley. I mean, that is yeah. uh, great news. All of us are here in uh, Bombay. Uh, and uh, uh, it's a, although it, this is a greenfield project, ma'am, right? Yes, it's a greenfield project. So you're going to buy the land and then build up the facility uh, in, in, in Burley, which is the heart of Bombay. Uh, what's, the, what's the investment earmark towards this? I mean, land prices and... Dollars. Uh, yeah. Over a period of time, so the capitalized value of the lease is about 400 crores. Okay, total 1,300 crores. Yes. Uh, that is a total investment required to build this out. Yes, yes. Uh, over a okay. two and a half year period. Okay, and what are your expectations, ma'am, from this market? I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, Bombay is a slightly different market than most, most others, you would agree. Yes, our new Bombay unit is doing extremely well. Yeah. Uh, we've onboarded some exceptional talents. So I'm quite confident that we should break even uh, within the first year. So that is going to be, so you're saying the, uh, it's going to be up and running in two and a half years and break even yes. a, a year after that? Within yes. a year? Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, you know, Ms. Reddy, just want to reconfirm. I'm looking at a presentation. The GMV of Apollo 24 by 7 is 1,452. So mm -hmm. this number will head to around 4,000 crores, right, by the end of this year? The GMV, uh, yes, it will. Okay. All right. Uh, got that, ma'am. So uh, now, sort of big picture projections for all the businesses. Uh, since we're talking Apollo Health Co., which has just turned into the black this quarter, right now mm -hmm. the margin is just about 2 to 2.5%. What, is, yes. what do you see as a steady state margin profile for Apollo Health Co.? If you look at uh, the offline, it is 7.6, with mature stores at 10%. I think over a period of time, the online will also move, you know, uh, if you add both the uh, margin profiles, we should see about seven to eight. And you must also consider the key med integration that probably happened over the year with that sales moving to 25,000 crores in three years and 8% um, margin. And that's so three, the figure you should look at. 
So in three years, Apollo Health Co will improve uh, the margin profile to an eight percent sort of level. Okay, yes, that's, that's, this is where the integration of payment. After the integration of payment, got that. Yes. So that that's helpful. The other business, Apollo Health and Lifestyle, uh, where yes. right now at the pat level it's still loss making. Loss was what four four and a half yes. uh, crores, I think. When does yeah. that turn profitable? And again, I go back to the margin question. Right now, this business is steady at around ten uh, percent. So, is this the steady state margin, or will we see a bump up as uh, the bottom line turns profitable? Yes, I think you will see a, um, a huge margin improvement, and this will come from growing diagnostics. So, currently, four hundred four crores of turnover, out of which one hundred thirty are diagnostics, but diagnostics is growing at over twenty percent, and margins are improving in that space. So, that should lift the overall margins as well as. Uh, Fact that their mother and child has uh, significantly contributed to growth and profitability. Okay, so any any timelines in terms of by when do you next break into year, the market? I think next next year by the end of the year they should be profitable. Uh, okay, by the end of next year, so end of uh, no, by the end of this year. By the end of this year, you should see okay. profit there. Okay, and any thoughts of any strategic moves once this business becomes profitable? There are all kinds of you know reports, a lot of buzz that does the round. Yes, on, uh, yes. So tell us a so bit about what you're thinking. No, no, I think that uh, from Apollo uh, Hospital's point of view, uh, this is all very important to Apollo. It's go to Apollo. So when we finish with our strategy session, I will let you know. <laughs> we'll really look forward to that because I think the markets also. I'll, you know, wanting to know more about the value unlocking opportunity, especially since you've given us the targets now that you know uh, Apollo Health and yeah. Lifestyle will turn profitable by the end of yes. the current fiscal year as well. Uh, so okay, that's yes. that's very very helpful. Maybe come back, circle back to the the bread and butter business, which has done so well, which is hospitals, uh, mm -hmm. occupancies, ARPOB rates for the second half. If you could leave us with a view and a guidance. So currently, occupancy is at seventy three percent. I think um, we should. Uh, Despite the festivities, look at around 70% for sure. Our pop currently grew only 3%. It's at 59,000, close to 60,000. But here again, you can expect to see an improvement of 4 to 5%. Yeah. I'm a slightly uh, sort of a broader question. Uh, uh, you know, we've you must have uh, heard. You know, we've got two instances. One, a hospital company talking about starting an insurance venture, Narayana Health. Mm -hmm. You've got Policy Bazaar talking about a, a sort of a HMO, uh, you know, uh, essentially getting into the into the hospital end as well, uh, health services in that sense. I just wanted your thoughts uh, in terms of how this is. Is this yeah. are we going to see more and more of this? Uh, any any thoughts at Apollo? How are you viewing all of this? Yes, I think that uh, definitely it's uh, it's the way forward. At Apollo, we are building networks of care. So if you, we have all the elements of, uh, of creating, you know, a community-based health organization with uh, insurance in the back. 24 by 7 has launched its insurance protein portal. And with this, with the connect that we create with this, we look forward to looking after communities. At this time, I have no plans that I can disclose. But we are watching this space very closely, and so, it's part of our strategy to win market share in these markets. So, so it it, it is. Uh, you can't disclose plans, ma'am, or firm plan, <laughs> firm plans, or are you thinking in that direction? Maybe having a sort yes, of insurance. Yes, yes, we are thinking in that direction where we can look after communities, and and the best way to approach the solution to approach that. Is is something that is work in progress. So, ha but we so, have so, all the elements currently within the system, including an oh, insurance broking license. Yes. Absolutely. But getting into insurance yourself under Apollo, maybe a different mm -hmm. entity, is that possible at all right in the future? Right now, that's not uh, getting into insurance. Right now, is not something that we're looking at. But we do have an insurance broking license, and uh, using all this effectively. We should be able to move in the right direction with regard to covering the, looking after people's health Absolutely. and making healthcare accessible to them. So, ma'am, we are going to hold you to it because you've left us with two great teasers. One, 
We want to understand more about how you plan to look after communities, what that really will entail in terms of perhaps uh, plans with you know the insurance broking business. And the second, as you said, any further strategic moves that would be planned uh, for yes. some of the other businesses as they turn profitable. Uh, thank yes. you very much. Thank you very much for joining in and uh, giving us a lot of perspective on the business. The stock of the day, Apollo Hospitals, with a 7% move right now. Uh, so this is an interesting one. But Prashant, this is the, 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 I'm glad you asked that question, right? Because insurer, insurance brokers, health insurance brokers, want to now set up healthcare in hospitals. Hospital owners are saying they want to somewhere get into serving the community with insurance. So, wonder what you we're know, the, in for. The, the, the thought process is that the insurance company, the hospital yeah. and the patient, I mean, the yeah. interests have, have to be aligned. So, if yeah. you're a hospital yeah. and you're going to be honoring the claims, yeah. which the patient, so sort of, there's a bill that he runs up in the hospital, it's yeah. in your own interest yeah. that the hospital doesn't overcharge. So, yeah. I mean, I think that's where... Uh, Some the, linkages the, between insurers and hospitals. Perhaps yeah. in the next 12 months, maybe... Uh, It'll become clearer something. whether yeah. it's only yeah. for, yeah. say for example, Narayana is uh, right now saying that it's only for Narayana uh, yeah. you know, hospitals. And yeah. that makes yeah. sense. And of course, we are yet to hear more from Policy Bazaar on uh, what they plan to do with that sort of, you know, uh, in that sense, backward integration, uh, if you must. Well.